everybody this is jeff from the great heights and barely controlled chaos and well we're doing something we haven't done in a while So when we were in New York, we used to let our goat herd wander all the time. Um, not wander, wander, but I mean, we'd let them out at least a couple times a day to just kind of go out in the pasture and wander around. Um, they've obviously eaten everything that they can in there and I'm gonna need to move them. But I thought first I would just try to see how they do wandering and see what happens here. So we still have lots of places on our property that look like this that are just tangled messes. And right now the goats are doing their job and cleaning the, that area up so um, which is great it's great for them to get in there and do that i'm gonna have to get the brush hog in here and like pull you know a lot of it down so that it eventually turns into nice pasture or at least grass that can be used but for the time being they're doing a great job cleaning it up and that's really what we wanted so and we got our one good dog who knows not to chase the goats out here with us. She'll help us herd them, but um, she doesn't chase them. And this is our new, our newest, youngest one right here. He's doing a great job. He's thriving, doing really well. And then you got the two other little ones. They're kind of in those bushes there, a little hard to see, but there you go. We're just gonna kind of let them wander and we're just out here watching to make sure that they don't go on our neighbor's property or whatever but for the most part they'll just kind of wander through pick up the, the stuff that they want to eat and clear stuff out which is great for well them and us so it's a dual benefit can't really see them through this of course i'm showing you sticks and trees and not actual goats <laughs> there we go now you can see them Kinda. All right, so we're back up here with the pigs again. And what we're getting ready to do is I'm putting this piece of fence right in here. And I'm going to pull this one over, this one that I'm holding. Um, I'm going to pull this over so it matches. And then we're going to take these, this one, that one, and the one behind me over here. We're going to take those down and move it over there. And this one, this one here will be the new end on this end. And then we'll just put some over there for, um, for an extension. Since they're doing a great job tearing this up, I'm going to just continue to... And we're going to make a big uh, big square. We've got a big rectangle right now. We're going to make it into a square of area that they've torn up. So that we'll just get that done now. So the hardest part of doing this is I'm in here in their pen messing with things. And their pigs are very curious creatures. And especially these guys. They're super curious. So I'm over here. I'm getting ready to open this piece of fence here. So there'll be, there will be an actual gap. <laughs> I really don't want them over here while I'm doing that. Um, it's only going to be open for a minute or so, but still, it's like, I don't, you know, I don't really want them over here while I'm doing that. But they're very curious. They want to know what I'm doing. So, so as you can see, we got this section. This fence goes a little far because we had to double up a little bit. Um, but you can see we got this section, section cleared up. And we've got the new section over here. And they're all laying down in it had a grumpy child earlier so I didn't film it earlier but yeah we got them over here they're all in it and they're doing a great job they're all laying down enjoying the sunshine this afternoon 
but they've already, yeah, I mean, this was all green this morning. They've already chewed a bunch of it, and then they're, they're rooting around. Like I said, this is exactly what we want, so we're uh, they're doing a great job. All right, so I had this great plan. I was going to show you um, us milking the goats because it was working really well. Um, and I managed to get quite a bit of milk today. And then the goat flipped out. Uh, she, she's always been a little bit, I don't know the right word. She's always been a little skittish and a little bit, doesn't like to be touched so much. So we you know, had her hooked to the milker, uh, restrained, and she flipped out and flipped the whole milker up on top of me. I wore probably a quart of milk, maybe a little less, somewhere in there, but yeah, that didn't work out so well. I was not even gonna share the video because yeah, it didn't work out well. <laughs> uh, but we got a bunch of work done this weekend. Um, that whole area over there that was just full of brambles, I managed to get most of it cleared up. You can see there's some that stuff right there. It's just too big for the tractor. I gotta come down here with the chainsaw and actually cut a lot of that out. And then this stuff down here, go that way, that stuff down there, it's too steep. So again, chainsaw, gotta clean that out. That was uh, quite a bit of work done this weekend. Uh, I got, like I said, we got the pigs moved a little bit and they've already done a great job right here. And apparently there's something there they really like because they've been tearing that up like crazy. Um, and then we'll keep scooting them down every week until we have a nice big square here that's all been tilled up and then it'll be ready to be planted. And hopefully by then I've got their area up there. This wind is awful today, sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna give them some water using the new watering system. And then uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to show you some goat milking. They, yeah, it just didn't work out today. That's okay. And things like that happen. No, what's the saying? Don't, no sense in crying over spilled milk. There's nothing you can do about it. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Just one final note. So this watering system has worked really, really well. Um, it allows me to get a lot more water out to them a lot easier um, versus trying to carry it out there, out here. The, obviously the fact that I'm getting more water to them means that this thing is empty now. So that means I was able, you can see it's actually standing upright because I was able to push it to get the last little bit of water out of it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get more water or it probably is gonna have to wait till uh, Monday night because we're getting ready to go to dinner but uh, yeah this has worked out really well I've, I'm really happy I am gonna probably just put it on tires like that one instead of trying to put it on tires or put it on these tree trunks and that just didn't work out as well as I'd hoped but yeah so this, really, this has worked really well